Good afternoon and welcome. Thank you all for coming today. This is a big day and moment. You know, when you work on a project of the importance and scale of the one, you don't think about this moment, the launch date, or the ribbon cutting ceremony for the start of construction earlier this month. It's not the end goal. The goal through the three years of envisioning and developing the one and working closely with Foster and Partners in England is to not be satisfied until you know you have achieved something unique, something that will raise the benchmark for design and innovation. We focused on the residents in the one, thinking from their perspective, how could we create an experience of living in the city that is completely new, that will heighten the homeowner's own relationship with Toronto, making them fall in love with this beautiful city all over again, high in the sky, through the expanses of glass, in homes that reflect their identity and passion for the perfect balance of traditional and contemporary design, treating them with amenities and services that make urban life an absolute pleasure, so easy and so enjoyable, giving them a sanctuary that provides an escape from the city at the same time that it engages with it. The views, they have a powerful and positive effect on human psychology, providing solace and inspiration. Being in the midst of Canada's leading luxury marketplace, Bloor Street, restaurants in the podium that will cater or deliver food to your residents, or to the Terrace Sky Garden and Infinity Pool. I think all of us on this project felt a great sense of responsibility to create something one of a kind because of its unique location. Young and Bloor is deeply entwined with Toronto's history and the intersection symbolizes the creative, optimistic energy of Canada. It deserved a bold vision, and it encouraged us to dream big. It's a heroic feat of the imagination, and it could not have been done without everyone coming together over the past three years to create the one. Now this day has arrived. I'm very proud of what all the members of the team have helped to create, and I'm really excited that we're now launching this dream that's now an absolute reality. I want to invite Eric onto the stage, who's going to help me talk about the building and tell you about the process today. Eric? Look at this. Look at this, Sam. Do you see this? I feel like Oprah Winfrey up here. You get a unit, and you get a unit, and you get a unit. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Eric Kuzian. On behalf of Mizrahi Developments, I'd like to welcome you to the tallest residential building in Canada. I'd like to welcome you to the first billion dollar residential building in the country. I'd like to welcome you to the one. Everybody in this room understands real estate. And if you understand real estate, it starts with an iconic address. It starts with location. One Bloor Street West. God, that sounds sexy. I'm going to say it one more time. <laughs> one Bloor Street West. Located in the southwest corner, the most desired corner of the most important intersection in the country. What makes this intersection so important? Well, you can start with the retail, the shops, the restaurants, the culture. The world's leading luxury brands are on Bloor Street West. Some of the best restaurants are on Bloor Street West. Is this working? There we go. And Canada's first 35,000 square foot Italy being constructed right now in the Manulife building, right behind one Bloor Street West. What else is important? Education. Within walking distance from this project, the number one ranked university in the country, the beautiful University of Toronto downtown campus. And of course, last but not least, transit. Direct subway access to the most important transit hub in the country, right from this building. Over half a million riders every day goes through this intersection. And when you have the Young Line and the Blur Line, Crossing at this transit hub, then you have direct access to everywhere. 
That's the importance of this location. We always said the right developer got this location. Mizrahi Developments, for the past 10 years, has been delivering luxury residential real estate to the highest end. They started with custom homes, luxury custom homes. And they've moved on to create the most high-end, boutique, residential condominiums on the affluent neighborhood of Hazelton Avenue and Davenport. Started with 133 Hazelton, 181 Davenport, 128 Hazelton, which is currently under construction, and in our nation's capital, a building that has never been seen before, 1451 Wellington Street, that just launched about five months ago. Sam, why don't you tell everybody what room this is? This is 133 Hazelton's mail room. The mail room. This is nicer than most people's living room and master bedroom. But the residents of 133 Hazelton get to open their bills in this beautiful room. When you're in a Mizrahi building, it is marble on top of marble on top of marble. It is millwork on top of millwork on top of millwork. It is seven, eight inch baseboards. It is solid core doors. It is the best of the best. And when you, for the last 10 years, are continuously delivering the best of the best, then you just go ahead and you hire the best architectural and design firm in the world. Foster and partners do not just design buildings. They design airports. They design bridges. They design statements, bold statements that redefine the way a city is viewed. The gherkin, known as the egg in London, England, landmark. The Hearst Tower in New York City, landmark. The Sepsa building in Spain, landmark. And the Russia Tower in Moscow. This, ladies and gentlemen, this progressive modern building was designed over 10 years ago. And of course, their most significant project to date, the $5 billion Apple headquarters in Cupertino, California. Ladies and gentlemen, your clients are purchasing this type of talent, this type of genius. So what did Foster and Partners do for One Bloor Street West? Well, let's get into the building. It starts from the ground floor, where the building meets the street, in a 35-foot curtain of glass. The building is also set back to create 30-foot sidewalks to make sure that the anchor tenant, one of the greatest retail brands on the planet, is properly addressed. And it's the urban living room, <laughs> what we call the urban, the urban living room. <laughs> Absolutely. The building itself, 85 stories, 175,000 square feet of retail, restaurant, and commercial space. Every square inch of this building Foster and Partners has thought of. A hybrid exoskeleton structure that makes the building six times stronger than a typical tower build. And when I tell you Foster and Partners has thought of everything, even to the point where you should be enjoying your coffee and your breakfast every morning. Not a traditional breakfast bar at an island, a piece of glass right up against the window so you can become one with the building. The living spaces, they've taken the exoskeleton structure and they've made it a feature in your living space with a powder-coated metal finish that was sourced in London, England. This becomes jewelry to the building, part of the cladding. It's not only form and function, but actually forms part of the jewelry of what we see in the building. Your kitchens, marble, stone, fully integrated Miele appliances, and from your 591 to your 5,700 square foot, standard Miele gas ranges in every suite. Bathrooms, sure, we'll throw more marble at it. Your vanities, custom designed by Foster and Partners, and Kohler plumbing fixtures throughout. And of course, your signature feature piece, a bench detail designed by Foster and Partners wrapping inside the window wall, creating an amazing living experience. 
Once you get to the top of the building, you have three floors of sub-penthouse half-floor units. And then, of course, the four crown jewels of the whole building, each corner penthouse, three stories tall, with their own in-suite elevator that takes you up to the 85th story, where you have your outdoor kitchen, your private pool, all enclosed in 20 feet of glass that is fastened to the structure of the building so you don't get blown off because you're so high in the air. That's at 1,005 feet. That's how much? 1,005 feet. That's, that's, I'll, I'll never be up there. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> nope, not me. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see a building of this size, you expect 800 or 1,000 units. But then it wouldn't be a world-class building. It would be just like any other building in the city of Toronto. This is iconic. This is a landmark. How many units did we end up putting in here, Sam? 416. 416, area code of Toronto. Every part of this building has been thought of. I keep telling you that. We actually get our own area code. <laughs> this building gets its own area code. You look across the street at One Blur East, 800 units, four elevator bays. 416 units, eight elevator bays. That are dedicated. We have over 16 devices, but eight dedicated to the core. I, I, I can't even begin to think that I can understand these elevators. I'm going to let you tell the crowd about these elevators. These are next-gen elevators. These are state-of-the-art machine learning elevators that actually float within the building and start to learn the lifestyle of the building and how you live in the building. What time you come in and press the elevator to go to work? What time you come home? When do you need that elevator, depending on what floor you're on? This is the next generation of machine le learning, artificial intelligence going into these elevators that will be there when you call for it at record speeds that we haven't seen before. They operate at 1,600 feet per minute. They can take you from the top of the building down in under 30 seconds and float within the building. It's nothing that we've seen before. This is ingenuity and technology that's implemented in this building that is second to none with no compromise. There's just so many features. <laughs> it doesn't stop. All right, I'm going to get into the floor plans now. First section of the building is called the tower section. It is floors 19 to 48. It is a 10-unit floor plate. We start with your 591 square foot one bedrooms that are east and west facing. And then we move up to your 725 square foot, one plus dens with north or south exposure. And we finish off with your four corner suites, two bed, two bath, 1,106 to 1,166 square feet. Then we move into the upper tower. Levels 49 to 61. Six unit floor plate. We start at 1,352 square feet, two bed, two baths that are east and west exposure. From there, your four corner suites, all 1,500 square feet, two and a half to three bedroom options. Let's keep going up. High rise. When you get into the high rise section, you're dealing with 10 foot coffered ceilings. The rest of the building is nine foot coffered ceilings. In the high rise section, you become a four unit floor plate from level, level 62 to 76. And you have your 1,900 square foot, three bedroom units on the northeast and northwest corner. And then your 2,500 square foot, three plus dens, three bedroom or three plus den options on the southwest and southeast corner. There's a reason I put this floor plan up. I want to explain something to you. When you get your floor plan booklet on the way out, you will see that every unit has a layout A and a layout B. The layout B is created when the exoskeleton ties into the structure horizontally once on every six floors. When that happens, that bench detail that you've seen in the living space is continued in every space around the window wall of the entire plate. 
It on five a, out of six floors. It's an incredible future. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Future. On five out of six floors, it is, op, it is layout A that you'll be receiving, where the bench detail is just in the living room section so that purchasers have the ability to put their own type of furniture in the bedrooms and the dens. And Everybody got that? And that's your option. That's right. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the south view from the 50th floor. If the residential floors start on 19 and finish on 85, this is technically halfway up the building. You want to see the top floor? I didn't hear you. Oh, OK. OK. Everything disappears around you. You are technically looking down at all the buildings in the financial district. The only structure that is eye level is the CN Tower. And you actually see all the way to the US. It is un, th this doesn't do it justice. We actually shot it with a drone and a helicopter, <coughs> and we metadata tagged each view and each unit. So when you go on the website and you pick your view shots or you come into the presentation gallery, we can actually show you the actual views from the unit that you have because we've tagged it. And you actually see right across on a clear day into the US. It is unbelievable. So just like Foster and Partners, has designed every square inch of this building, Mizrahi Developments have figured out how we're going to make this a world-class building when it comes to services and amenities. When I tell you that every single service and amenity has been thought of, I kid you not, from the newspapers that will be in the lobby every day for purchasers to read, to the umbrellas that'll be handed to you by your 24-hour doorman if it's raining outside, to the protein shakes, the type of water, it's a pretty picky individual, <laughs> that are gonna be served in the state-of-the-art fitness studios, into the spas. It has all been thought of to make sure that this becomes the best world-class residential building. So let me explain how these services and amenities are gonna work for you. It starts with 24-hour valet. There is no parking to be purchased in this building. Because everyone gets one, or the ability to park. The best residential luxury buildings in Tokyo, Hong Kong, New York, Abu Dhabi, this is how they do it. It is a 24-hour, around-the-clock, a la carte service. So now, if you have a 591-square-foot one-bedroom, or a 5,700 square foot penthouse, one month, four months, six months, however you need it, or you two will days. have 24 hour valet. You have an app, you can call for it, your car will come up at any time, you drop off, the valet takes it, 24 hour concierge services, 24 hour security, 24 hour valet, seven days a week for everyone. So whether you come from the valet or from the ground level, you en enter this amazing public civic space with 35-foot ceilings. A public civic space that allows for a Christmas tree like Rockefeller Center to celebrate holidays. And those features will change. In the winter, we'll have the Christmas tree, as Eric says. In the summer, it'll be a art, public art feature, water features. It will change with the seasons and um, with the art of the city. Speaking of art, we can do exhibits, exhibitions, sculptures. Everything. It's a gathering place. It's, a, it's what we call the urban living room, uncontaminated retail space. It's an area of gathering. It's a place to celebrate. It's a place to come relax. It's a place to hang out. It's a place to live. It's a place to shop. It's a place to eat. It's a place to celebrate the city with your family. Because of all this interaction that goes on on this ground floor, your sky lobby, is 11 and a half stories above grade on the sixth level for privacy and exclusivity. So when the residents go up on this elevator and come out onto their sky lobby, they're greeted by a 24-hour doorman, two 24-hour concierge, and every single amenity occurs on this floor. You have a state-of-the-art fitness studio. You have a spin studio. You have a Pilates studio. You have a 3,000-square-foot urban sanctuary spa and you go outside to your 8,200 square foot rooftop terrace with a 2,000 square foot infinity pool facing south that, that what? Is heated 12 months of the year, seven days a week. 
What would be more Canadian and more Toronto than to be the ability to use the pool in December, January, February, in any climate, fully heated to 104 degrees, snowmelt systems in the terrace so you can walk off on heated floors, come in, use the pool, feel like you're in Banff, feel like you're in Lake Louise, feel like you're in Whistler, and be able to take advantage of the city at Young and Bloor with an infinity pool that completely flows into the streets. It's, awesome. it's unbelievable. It's awesome. This would not be an international building if we didn't give it in an international offering. Ladies and gentlemen, your brochure, the website, all your digital asset available in seven languages. Now, this is very important. The sales procedure. Can we actually have everybody just lock the rooms, all lock all the doors? I don't care if I'm breaking the code of the That's fire, a code fire of the code city. To, uh, Nobody's leaving until I'm done telling you about the sales procedure. And I want to talk about something else, okay. an emotional content of the building. Yeah, we'll do that right after this. Okay. All right. When you leave today, you will receive your VIP broker package. Your VIP broker package, I'm hoping we have enough of them. <laughs> Your VIP broker package is going to have your brochure, it will have your floor plan book, it'll have your price list, it'll have a very detailed procedure document, and it'll have your worksheet. Now, the lower penthouse and the penthouse floor plans are not in the floor plan book. That is on the digital portal that everybody has access to to download. We are accepting worksheets immediately following this event. The cutoff for worksheets or this Friday at 12 p.m. As of Friday, if your worksheet is accepted and allocated, the one sales team will contact you to make an appointment for this Saturday and Sunday where you and your clients will come in to sign. Where? At the one at the Hazelton Hotel. Everything's been thought one of, restaurant. my friends. So one restaurant at the Hazelton Hotel this Saturday or Sunday is when we are doing signatures. Now, we talked about the beauty of the building. We talked about how the amenities and the services and the design. We haven't talked about the emotion. The building has in a lot of emotional content. I won't get into a, a lot of them, but there's one aspect I want to talk about. This is next generation emotional lighting that we've incorporated into the one. It is the newest technology in LED. You've seen it on the CN Tower. You've seen it in other buildings, but you've never seen it like this. The building will be matched and will flow with LED colors that will match the emotional content of the city and what's happening at the time. For example, Canada Day, red and white. For example, it's Breast Cancer Month, pink. For example, if the Leafs win, the Stanley Cup, which they will, because we put in the lighting system to make the building blue. There's nothing wrong with hoping and dreaming, my friend. That's what got us here. We're and prepared for it. We're prepared for it. So the building will have next-gen lighting, and you'll see it in the skyline in the city, and it will set the mood and set the emotion of how the city celebrates architecture and how it celebrates life. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making history today. This is a celebration. This is the new way that the international world will look at Toronto in terms of capabilities of residential real estate. We, when you see Michelangelo, and he has his Sistine Chapel, this is Mizrahi Development Sistine Chapel. And what's amazing about it, it has invited everybody in this room to pick up a brush and join us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Good luck to you. Thank you for your support. Thank you.